Hey Psych2Go fam, welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for all of the love and support that you've given us. Psych2Go's mission is to make psychology and mental health more accessible to everyone, and you help us do that. Now, let's begin. An anxious avoidant relationship is one in which one person has an anxious attachment to another person who is avoidant. Anxious attachment generally comes from a place of seeking out closeness and intimacy with others. This person tries very hard to avoid rejection and abandonment. On the other hand, the avoidant person seeks a level of emotional distance that conflicts with their anxiously attached partner. Relationships like this are difficult to navigate when both partners have different and conflicting desires. Before we begin, here is a quick reminder that this video is for informative purposes only and should not be taken as relationship advice. If you relate to this video, please reach out to a relationship counselor or other professional for help. With that said, let's go over five signs of an anxious avoidant relationship. One, feelings of suffocation. When you are anxiously attached to someone, you may feel an intense need to be close to them. You seek out ways to get closer and feel elated when you do. However, the avoidant partner may start to feel overwhelmed by the other person's intense desire to be near them. While the anxious partner wants closeness, the avoidant partner seeks distance. Too much closeness can cause the avoidant partner to feel suffocated. Two, feelings of abandonment. While feeling suffocated is associated with the avoidant partner, abandonment is more of an issue for the anxious partner. The avoidant partner requires a certain level of independence and emotional distance from the other. This can be problematic for the anxious partner since it bars their desire to be close. They may feel that their efforts are no longer successful and that their partner is slowly drifting away from them. Number three, concern over the relationship being one-sided. The anxious partner may feel that the relationship is one-sided. They feel that the other person isn't putting in as much effort into the relationship as they are. This issue can crop up especially during a conflict where one person wants to get closer and work through a problem, but the other person wants to keep their distance. This may lead to an issue where one starts to antagonize the other. Four, feelings of instability. The anxious avoidant relationship does lend itself to feelings of relationship instability. If you are the anxious one, you feel that your partner is becoming distant and uninterested. If you are the avoidant person, you feel that your partner is too clingy and high maintenance. Neither one can get what they want out of each other, and this causes mutual feelings of dissatisfaction. This can become an increasingly toxic situation and cause you two to lash out at each other in misunderstanding. And number five, emotional toxicity. An anxious avoidant relationship is considered toxic. You want different things out of each other and may find yourselves fighting about meaningless topics. It can be antagonistic and you might place the problems of your relationship on one another. You and your partner's needs are incompatible with one another. This makes it extremely difficult to work through and resolve relationship complications. Did you find this video helpful? Did it help you recognize any anxious, avoidant personality traits in some of your present relationships? Toxic relationships are difficult to navigate, so it's important to reach out to someone you trust if you think you need help. If you found this video helpful, please like it and share the video with others. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more Psych2Go content. The references and studies used are added in the description below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video.